Hi all, welcome to Tech Fish Java. In this video, we are going to discuss about how can we register a reasonable micro microservice with the uh, admin servers. So, in previous videos, we have uh, seen that how can we uh, create an admin server uh, in the screen port microservice. Uh, admin servers are basically used uh, for monitoring uh, and managing uh, your microservice applications via screen boot. Uh, uh, so, admin servers uh, we have been created in previous video. So, if anyone is not seen that video, uh, please uh, look into that video first uh, before coming to this video because in this video we are going to create a uh, admin client and uh, trying to register any microservices using that feature. So let's just start. Uh, in previous video we have been created one admin server applications where we have been uh, defined uh, in main class we have been annotated admin enable admin server and also we have been uh, in pwn.xml we have uh, added uh, dependencies related to admin server basically code decentric is providing that feature so we have added to that uh, code decentric um, dependencies okay now here for uh, creating an admin client i am taking a uh, uh, previous videos uh, project where we have been created a uh, build a rest api using spring boot microservice so this is the project which we have been created previously now i am going to demonstrate that how we can uh, add this particular uh, project uh, as a admin client to this admin server so let's just start before that just jump into this we have created these services and uh, this is basically simply uh, demonstrating that uh, product operation of employee object and using REST API features of Spring Boot microservices. So let me just for uh, making this uh, register this service microservice register with admin server. What we have to do? Uh, let me just plug, just run this service and show you what it's showing in the. Taking time. So admin server is started. We have started admin server using 8091 port. So let's just get this 8091 port and see that what it is. Running. So HTTP colon double minus local host then so when we hit that service, we say this is the basically at the Spring Boot admin uh, URI. So this is basically the UI provided by uh, D code centric uh, dependency. So this is the default UI provided, and here you can see that there is a no application is registered with this Spring Boot admin server. So now we are going to make a changes in our Spring Boot microservice uh, REST API related project and uh, see that how we can register that service. So let me just open two things. The first thing is that we have to add uh, uh, client related dependencies in our form.xml and second thing is that we have to let me just uh, I So let me first add this dependency. Uh, so I have uh, taken already this. I'm going to add this dependency. Okay. So let me just add it here. Okay. 
we have added this dependency now this basically is not related with the uh, spring boot framework so we have to define their uh, versions also so for that i am just defining in this way just defining the dependency management and let me just define here I don't want to make this video more um, lengthy so that I have already taken those things noted so that I don't need to type those things. Okay, now here basically what I have to do is add a property. Let me just save it. Now the results are gone. Okay. What else I have to do? Okay, now here basically uh, we have to define the admin server's URL where it is going to be uh, point to go. There is a one property called spring dot boot dot admin dot client you are so this is the property we have to define http colon double slash local host colon 8091 so yeah so what what changes we did it for our existing microservice application we have added the dependencies related to the admin server time and uh, we have added the URL which is pointing to which is basically URL of uh, admin server. Uh, okay, so my admin server is already started. So let me just start this service and see that it will be registering or not. Okay, so what is this? Just open the main. So in consumer also if you can see that this is basically saying that application registered itself as this. So okay, so let me just try to yeah. here also you can see that one application got registered. Okay. So we go here. here. Okay, so fine. So this way we can register our uh, instances or uh, a microservice applications. Okay, so as you can see that application is registered now. Our services are running. Okay, so if I we want to access those uh, URLs, so um, the actu uh, actuator related URLs. So these are the actuator related URLs. So if we hit from here, we can see that these are the all actuator services which are basically enabled on this set. And uh, let me do one thing. Okay, let me just go back and hit the health. So you can see that this way and if you go back so this way uh, you will get uh, uh, how we can register the uh, any any spring boot microservice with the admin server so, so for, for any uh, spring boot microservice application for registering with the admin server we have to add two things one is we have to add the dependencies of actuator and uh, uh, 
admin start a client in chrome.xml and also we have to add the url where it is going to be point to so these two things we have to do so that's it for this video if you like this video please um, like press the like button and comment and also subscribe my channel and press the no bell notification so that you will get the uh, latest videos notifications thank you for watching